Hey everyone, welcome to this video and today I'm going to show you how to build an agentic rag over complex real world documents and it's powered by iLevels GroundX which is a state of the art document parsing and retrieval system. So what I've done is I have integrated GroundX as a custom tool in my Crew AI setup. So before we jump into the details of how it works, I have created a Streamlit app here wherein you can upload a document. So let's do that first. So I'll be using this uh, flying manual of uh, MiG-30 which is a fighter aircraft. And uh, so our document uh, is uh, properly processed and now it is ready to chat. So before I start interacting with it, let me show you why am I calling this as a complex document. So I have this document here and uh, if you carefully see, this document contains uh, not only just text but a lot of complex figures, diagrams and their descriptions. And uh, it also has this uh, complex flowcharts on how it works, all its different components. So if you would go with the any sort of, uh, you know, any regular document parsing system that would miserably fail here. So let's try to see how GroundX works. So the first qu question that I, I'm going to ask it is uh, about the dimensions of this MiG-29. Uh, so let's do that. Dimensions of a MiG-29. Okay, so we have our answer and you can see that it is able to get all the information including the total length, the wingspan, height, nose height, it gives you proper units and everything. So this shows that our system is uh, very well able to understand all this complex information. I'll come to a bit like how it parses it and all, but before that uh, let's make it uh, a bit more interesting and ask it another question. So you can see here that uh, it also has this flow chart about this engine control system. It has a lot of different components and how they interact with each other. So what I'm going to do is I'll ask our system uh, or I'll ask our RAG application that uh, what is a realize box and let's see how it response to it. Okay, so it says that Relias Box is a critical component within the engine control system. So it is able to identify that where exactly this uh, component exists. So it is existing in the engine control system uh, of the aircraft and uh, it serves as a connecting hub to the engine fault detection unit to various monitoring system. So basically it says that uh, this uh, realize box is acting as a connecting hub between the fault detection unit and certain other monitoring system like TLP, VWAS, FDR. So this is really impressive. Our system is not able to, you know, parse all this information, but is also able to understand like how the components in a certain diagram are interlinked or interconnected. Or let's say if it's a flow chart, how the information is flowing through it. So this is really impressive. So now you must be wondering that how this document parsing is happening under the hood. So uh, I'll quickly show you how GroundX processes our documents. So it tries to detect the relevant uh, or contextually complete objects in our document that we give it as an input. Based on that, uh, it tries to understand it and then nicely parse it into an LLM ready data or into a structured format, right? And along with that, it gives you a suggested text, right? So this is something uh, that, you, that you can use as a context that can be passed to the LLM right away. And on the basis of that, you can ask it questions as well. So yeah, GroundX here is doing all the heavy lifting for you. And uh, you can easily use their uh, SDK to integrate it with any agentic or RAG frameworks that are out there. I have today integrated it as a custom tool with Crew AI, which I'm going to show you in a bit. So, so if you want to quickly try it out on your own documents, you can go to uh, iLevel.ai and uh, go to X-Ray, try it for free quickly upload your document and see if it uh, gives you the desired answers or not. And if it works for you, then you can have all the code that I'm providing you. All right, so now that we understand uh, what the system can do, what the system can achieve, it's time to understand how it works. So before we jump into coding, I would like to give you a quick walkthrough of uh, all the major components that it has. So the system would take a user query, then we have a retriever agent, right? So this retriever agent has a job to, you know, tap into the right knowledge source based on the query that the user is giving. So it has access to uh, the ground access uh, document parsing tool, wherein we'll have all the relevant information that is present in our document properly passed and in a format that can be readily consumed by LLMs. And it also has access to web, right? So in case it does not, uh, in case the user fires up a query that uh, it does not find the answer within our document, so it can always fall back to web search. And once we uh, have this uh, context retrieved, we have uh, a writer agent or a response synthesizer agent, right? So it will take, again, take the user query and the fetched relevant context, use them both and provide a cohesive response to the end user. So this is how our system works. Now it's time to jump into coding and build it step by step. All right, so now I'm in my cursor ID where I have put together all the code to build the system. So we'll start by doing all the necessary imports. 
and uh, then we'll set up a local LM, uh, LLM which uh, is DeepSeq in this case and it is served using Olama. Then we are going to define our first tool which is uh, our document search tool. So let me quickly show you since it's a custom tool that we have uh, created uh, with Crew AI and under the hood it is using uh, iLevels Ground X. So let me show you all the code how we have created this tool. So Crew AI provides this uh, base tool class and uh, you can use it as a parent class to define your own custom tools. So in the init method uh, we specify the file path that is going to take and uh, then uh, we are going to create a bucket right. So this bucket would be created on iLevels uh, cloud and this would basically store all your data and uh, the final processing that happens and all the metadata that is created out of it would be present in that particular bucket right. So we have uh, a function that is specifically doing this. So once you have a bucket created it would uh, return a bucket id right and then you can start uh, the ingestion process wherein you can uh, upload your documents. So once you upload your documents it would uh, start a process and return a process id. Now this process id is something that you can used to keep track of like what is the status of your uploaded documents which is exactly uh, what we are doing here right. So once the status is completed then we'll start uh, you know doing search and retrieval over it. So I just put a condition on you know checking the status once it's completed then you can proceed ahead. Finally uh, like for all custom tools that you need to define uh, with Crew AI we define an underscore run method. So this is something that would execute when you are going to use this tool for your query. So inside run uh, it would take the user query and uh, check all the status like whether the documents that we uploaded have been processed or not. If they are processed it is going to you know do search and retrieval over it and it would provide us all the relevant context in a nicely formatted way. So coming back to our main notebook so we have our pdf tool ready. Then we are going to use a uh, serper dev tool. Again this is something uh, wherein our agentic has, drag has capability to fall, fall back to web search in case it is not able to find all the answers there. So we are going to use this uh, web search tool and uh, in this case we do not have to define any sort of custom tool because uh, serper dev tool is already integrated with crew. Alright so once we have all of this set up it's time to create our agents right. So the first agent that we have is our retriever agent. So the function of this agent is to you know take the user query tap into the right knowledge source and retrieve the relevant context from there. So all of these instructions uh, can be easily specified among these uh, parameters that our agent take like the role. So it tells us that uh, what the agent is supposed to do. What is the objective of this agent? So you can specify all of this in this goal. So wherein it says that uh, it would find the most relevant information based on the user query and the backstory. So this gives uh, the LLM or our system more context about uh, what kind of background this agent has uh, if you are trying to think of it as a person and what all it can do. So yeah so this is uh, basically prompt engineering 101. You can easily add uh, all sort of relevant instruction among these uh, three parameters which is the role, goal and backstory. Finally uh, the important thing which is uh, the tools. So what tools does this agent have access to right. So in this case uh, a retriever agent has access to the pdf search tool uh, which is again our uh, uh, i levels ground x uh, custom tool that we just defined and the web search tool which is going to use the serper dev tool. Now the next agent that we have is response synthesizer agent. Now the responsibility of this agent is to take the retrieved context from a retriever agent take the user query and nicely put it in form of a prompt template and put it uh, and provide it as an input to the LLM and finally it should provide a cohesive and uh, finally it should provide a cohesive and complete response to the end user right. So again uh, you can easily specify as a sort of plain English prompts uh, in these three parameters. Finally you also need to uh, so once now once you have your agents ready you can uh, specify their uh, task like what exactly they are supposed to do. So we have done that for you which is uh, a retrieval task for the retriever agent and the response gen task which is for the response synthesizer agent. So once we have our agents uh, 
and our task ready we are going to put them inside a crew so we have uh, the two agents that we defined their corresponding task we defined uh, whether the process is sequential or hierarchical but in this case like it's uh, totally sequential first we are going to use the first agent to retrieve all the relevant information and then we'll use uh, this information and pass it to the second agent now that our crew is defined it's time to kick it off and we are going to ask it about again about the dimensions of mig 29 aircraft so it shows you like uh, all the logs since we specified uh, verbose equal to true so it will show you like uh, what agent is currently working, uh, what task is currently getting executed, what tool is being used by my agent uh, for a particular query. So all of this information is here and uh, we have our answer. So let's uh, try to print it. Okay, so again, like it is able to give you all the dimensions of the MiG-29 aircraft. Every enterprise that is trying to build a, a RAG solution would never want their data to leave their servers, right? So iLevel also provides uh, an open source GitHub repository where you, wherein you can find all the code to uh, deploy a system like GroundX completely on, on premise on your own Kubernetes cluster in a totally air gapped environment. So this makes sure that your data would never leave your servers and uh, you can easily find uh, all the instructions to get this up and running on your, let's say on your own AWS uh, Kubernetes cluster. And for that matter, any server where you have Kubernetes running, you can easily deploy the system. So with that, we have come to the end of this demo and I have also provided a step-by-step -step guide and all the instruction in the thread that follows on how you can reproduce all this work yourself on your own system. And at the end, I have shared link to all the relevant code that you need to build this yourself. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in another one. Thanks for watching.